This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Get cheap game time as well as other workout products at affordable prices. Click the link in the description below to check it out. Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies and today I will be talking about the Night Elves and how powerful they are, covering their creation, history, characteristics and culture. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. Over 15,000 years ago, a group of isolated trolls ventured towards the Well of Eternity. Little did they know this was the prime source of magic of Azeroth. The titanic blood affected this independent tribe, elevating their being. Some years later, they were barely even trolls as their skin changed color and they grew taller and slender. Gradually, they abandoned their troll heritage and traditions and began worshipping the mysterious moon goddess Elune while also experimenting with the newfound magic. Scenarius would spread druidism to this race, at this point mainly to Malfurion, while through magic their empire would grow larger and larger. Soon enough, Queen Ashara came to power and they became one of the most powerful forces on the entire planet. They easily dealt with the rest of the trolls as they secured more and more territory. However, they were not concerned with expanding all over and ruling over the planet, but instead they wanted to expand their knowledge of magic. The civilization exploded with new temples, roads and cities and the capital city of Zen Ashari. Magic users were so valued that they were extremely close to Ashara and were in the upper echelons of society known as the Highborn. Eventually, their greed for power would bring in the attention of Sargeras and the Burning Legion. War of the Ancients began, the Night Elves descended into civil war and a battle for survival. Ultimately, the Well of Eternity exploded and the entire world was split apart in the event known as the Great Sundering. Following the fall of Ashara, Malfurion would come to rule and a large cultural shift occurred. Druidism became the primary focus of the Night Elven society and the Highborn were eventually exiled. For thousands of years they would focus on nurturing their native forests and connecting with the nature. 10,000 years later, the Burning Legion would return and the Night Elves would play a massive role by sacrificing their tree of life, Nordasil. Once again, the price to pay was very high, but the world was saved for a time. In the aftermath, they joined the Alliance in order to protect their borders against the newly created and newly settled Horde. For years, they would play a very important role within the faction. Recently, they have been dealing with the Emerald Nightmare, the return of the Burning Legion for the third time, as well as constant war. In the Battle for Azeroth, Sylvanas essentially nukes their world tree and the capital city of their Nasus. This leads the Night Elves to play a massive role in the new faction war, essentially fighting for their survival. So with this very brief history, what are the characteristics of the Night Elves and how powerful are they? Originally they were trolls, so much of their appearance is rooted in that fact. However, everything changed when they were influenced by the mysterious waters of the Well of Eternity. They lost their hunch, grew taller and became more slender. The Night Elves are incredibly tall, ranging from 7 to 7 feet 6, so around 230 centimeters. Their average weight is around 250 pounds or 115 kilograms, which is very slender for their height. Even the females are not much shorter than this, making the Night Elves very different compared to other races. A night elf that is shorter than 6'5 or around 195 centimeters is practically unheard of. When it comes to their bodies, they are very muscular and agile, making them perfect hunters and warriors. Not only are they strong, but they are also fast and athletic, being able to do things such as backflips. Of course, not every night elf is as agile, but on average their genetics are very well adjusted for it. Despite their physical prowess, the Night Elves are extremely intelligent due to being influenced by the Well of Eternity. They were some of the best spellcasters that in a way spread much of the practice to the rest of the world, both directly and indirectly. Aside from their intellect, they are incredibly wise as they are some of the oldest races on Azeroth. Until recently they were practically immortal, with many of them being over 10,000 years old. An average person can barely comprehend how much time that is and how much can be learned 
happened within that time span. Because of their age, they're some of the strongest within their respective classes. A spellcaster can learn and practice much more in thousands of years than they can in, for example, 50, as is the case with humans. Their main classes are the druids, priests, hunters and warriors. Malfurion was one of the original druids and night elves are mainly a druidic race. They are very favored by nature and have a great affinity for druidism. The priests are much different than light ones as they worship Elune, the moon goddess. Usually these are females, but lately there has also been male priests. Lastly, the hunters and warriors are kind of a mix within their society. They use a bow, stealth and tracking within their environment, as well as other types of weaponry combined with ground and flying mounts such as the sabers and the hippogriffs. Compared to most other societies, the warriors and the hunters used to mainly be females but recently that has changed as well. When it comes to their fate, nature, druidism and loon is their main focus. They're also connected to the ancient guardians, the dragonflies and various creatures of the wilderness as in unison they work together to keep the balance of their forests. In terms of technology, they are rather limited when compared to the likes of humans or gnomes for example, instead they rely on magic and nature. Still. They're definitely not primitive as they were one of the first and the most developed civilizations on Azeroth. Their architecture represents how skilled they are at building and their legendary weapons how good they are at blacksmithing and craftsmanship. Overall, Night Elves are one of the seed races responsible directly and indirectly for the way Azeroth is shaped today. They are some of the greatest warriors, druids, priests and even demon hunters. They had saved the world on multiple occasions, not just from the Burning Legion, but against the threats from within. As ancient, intelligent, agile and wise, Night Elves are one of the strongest races on the planet of Azeroth. Alright and that is all I have for this video, do leave your suggestions below and don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out and keeps all the content going. Thanks a lot for taking time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.